In this video, we will mainly cover what is actual fee for studying in a college like Vitpilani. So starting with the admission fees. So at this point of time, if you are enrolled in Vitpilani, you have to pay a particular admission fee that is 57,100. And if you are waitlisted and after iteration one, you want to continue for the further iterations, then also you have to pay this particular admission fee. However, this fee will be refunded if you don't want to take admission in Vitpilani. The refund will be Proceed, uh, proceed, uh, proceeded according to the UGC guidelines mentioned for this particular year, that is 2020 and 4. So, this is, is the admission fee, that is 57,100, the same the number is applicable across the three campuses of Bit Plani in India. So, after this is the semester fee or the term fee. So, this is 2,59,500 for across of all the three campuses of Bit Plani. Okay. Then we have a student's union fee, so it will cost you around 450. So, student's union is the body that is being run completely by the students, like the main legal body is associated for conduction of the fest across the three campuses of the Bits Planning. Each campus has its own students union that is completely a student run, which will uh, do to a proper set of the elections, like a candidate is being elected by the student only and he is given a position of either the president or the genetic for that particular campus. Right? So after that comes the student aid fund that is cost you around 225, right? So hostel fees for the planning campus is for a particular semester is 20,650 and when we will compare this fee for the Hyderabad and Goa campus it is a bit higher. Of course there are better facilities available in the hostels right and better award infrastructure available in the Goa and Hyderabad campus and due to uh, that uh, main reason you will see a uh, uh, high fees right of around 6 to 7,000 in Hyderabad and Goa campus. Then is the miss and electricity advance. So this is an important term that you have to just see right while uh, when I joined with Spinani right as a first year student so I was in a delusion that there is, for the for whole semester there is only 10,000 feet for the mission in city right so it is completely not like that a very important term is being mentioned at this point of time that is advanced right so this is only the advanced right so for the particular semester the average mess fee will in Pilani campus or either I mean, if you are in the Goa or Hyderabad campus it will cost around 5500 to 6000 Right, on an average, I am telling you this is the number that has been quoted by me. So, around you can expect 5 to 6000 will be your mess fee, and electricity will be somewhat right, uh, it will not cost you much, right? It will be around, as of my knowledge, 1000 to 1500 at max, at be the max amount. You, you can't expect uh, above this amount to the charge by you. So, other advances are 12,000, right? This will be obviously advanced that will be just uh, secured by the institution and you will be refunded, right? Uh, or this fee will be adjusted in the upcoming semester. So, now this is the reason that it is so to study so much. I know that bits is too expensive. But at this point of time, the uh, uh, institute caution deposit is also 3000. That is quite obvious. So, it is so to study bits. But at this point, we have different scholarships that we are available in bits. Planning. So, first is merit scholarship and the second one is the merit term needs scholarship. So what is the need scholarship in the Complete CGP is that the very few children will be high CGP So they are uh, being allotted uh, merit term need scholarship So as of now, there is no documentation for it And uh, you will directly allot it But obviously, it is a very extremely high CGP is being required On the other hand, I will talk about for the merit scholarship if For the merit scholarship, basically, you have to give patents ka, ITR and computation certificate for those who don't understand ITR, ITR stands for income tax return, right? So, if you give it, obviously, the admin put up the procedure and check that it is authenticated that particular number that you have quoted in the ITR and computation certificate is. And after that, if you are being eligible for the scholarship, then you are allotted one, right? So, if you are applicable for that, right? I think so, particular, as of my knowledge, I am not sure that this amount is very good, so I will not quote this video in this video. So, I will link you in the description box in the description box. So, you can check the official site and check the amount of money. So, if you are eligible, then a CG greater than 6 will define that this scholarship can be allotted with you. Like with all the conditions of IT and computation certificate. So, generally, you can see that 7.2 to 7.3 is about 40% scholarship. And 6 is about 25% scholarship. And this scholarship is 80% of it, so you have a number quoted with the CGP analysis that has been given over there. So this was all about the scholarship and the fees in Bits Plani. I know that Bits Plani is a little expensive, not a little expensive, but too much expensive, but the quality of education and the crowd will be better, right? Now let us assume that you are not awarded any kind of scholarship in Bits Plani. So what is the fee structure for the single light? 
so this will the this is how the fee structure will look like right so the total fee is being quoted over here that will you have to pay right cumulative fee for the whole four years and this is the bifurcation of the fees that is given over here and for the dualites or the uh, msc degree students the fee bifurcation is being given over here and the total fee is also quoted over here so i think so i was able to explain the scholarship procedure and the total fees for studying in a college like pitts planning so thank you everyone